Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more content. Hit the likes. Smash those likes. More likes, the better for everybody. And share away. We share away here for the love of Star Wars. Uh, today's topic is the Vader film that Star Wars Theory put out and how Disney just screwed the pooch. So get ready, because I'm really mad. Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, as you can tell, uh, this is going to be about the news that basically Disney uh, monetized Star Wars Theory's Vader video after they realized it was the only successful Star Wars thing going right now. <laughs> nothing gets between the mouse and a buck. Okay, nothing. We have to remember that. Uh, this is a corporate, uh, soulless thing. And it, part of the problem that Lucasfilm is having right now is that it's soulless. Um, I've said this I said it before, I'll say it again. You cannot do a good Star Wars movie, a story, a comic book, if you have no belief system at all. And... <sighs> It's painfully aware, painfully aware to me, after seeing all this happen, that Lucasfilm has no soul. Then you watch uh, the Vader fan flick, and there are other fan flicks out there, uh, The Mask of Leia, um, and other ones that are just amazing to see. Uh, the heart, the, the soul is in these because People love what they're doing. They believe in what they're doing. They have, they have this, when you believe in, in, in what you're creating as an artist, to the point where you want to make it beautiful and perfect, the sky's the limit. When you're, when you're a, a sick, self-indulgent, ideologue hack who is only using your marginal talents to forward your sick, disgusting ideology. You're 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 not creative, and and you're 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 what you produce is garbage. And Disney has not produced nothing but garbage except for Rogue One. But Gareth Edwards loves Star Wars, and you can tell that. All right, um, you know, and and the Force Awakens was a hurried hurried sped up thing uh that banked on nostalgia uh and it, it should take them five years to develop a, a script and and what they wanted to do and if they couldn't get the big three together animate it all right animate it if, if the story has to be about them passing the torch to a new generation then animate it and then you have to worry about the cast you just worry about voice actors and it's a lot easier to do than trying to get the gang back together, especially since Carrie passed away. But we're gonna talk about that. Um, but anyway, so we all know the story. Uh, Star Wars theory put out this uh, great Vader fan flick, uh, and and he did not make a dime on it. He that was the agreement he made. He he reached with Lucasfilm when he talked to them about it, and uh, he put up his own money. That's fine. Put up his own money. And what he achieved was far better than anything Lucasfilm has done. Anything, anything Disney Lucasfilm has done. Period. It is when you look and when you look at what he was able to accomplish on a tenth of what they spend on making a movie. Um, it is mind-boggling because the story, the heart, the the. The production values were, were just as good as any blockbuster movie. I mean, it was glorious and over six million views now. And he wasn't gonna monetize it. They told him he couldn't make any money on it. They said, fine, okay. That was the agreement. So Disney comes in and hired, uh, I, I don't know, they call it something hard something. And uh, copyright uh, said something about well, some of the music or something like that about the music. Um, was John Williams and, and they didn't really copyright strike it, but they basically monetized it for, for themselves. And YouTube was like, 
okay? After the agreement. That music was written by somebody else. All right, they were fine with it until Disney realized how good it was. So my question is, instead of shitting on Star Wars Theory, instead of attacking him, instead of, you know, strong arming him, why don't you hire him? Fire a bunch of people in the story group. Fire the entire story group. Get people like Star Wars Theory because obviously he knows what the hell he's doing. And, he's, and, and he made the fans happy. That's what you're supposed to do, make the customers happy, right? Am I right? I think I am. You know, I know that I know of another, uh, let's see, the hand of the hand of the empire with a friend of mine who's uh, playing Kane and Jarrus. Um, uh, it, 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 they just did the premiere last Saturday, this last Saturday. Um, now we got the Mask of Leia, which is okay. Uh, the the thing I liked about that is is the story. Um, the story was actually very um, good. Uh, you know, for what they had. I mean, it, it, the story and what was behind it was 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 fine. They had a bunch of other things out there too. What are you gonna do, Disney? You gonna tell them all they can't do it? Yeah, because you guys are, are producing shit. All right, and this, but instead of doing the right thing and you know saying that you're you're the the talent pool at Lucasfilm is what's left over after you take a dump in the toilet and you flush it and that's what's left over that's your talent pool at Lucasfilm right now a floater they're a bunch of floaters get rid of them get rid of them and hire people that care that love Star Wars that love the stories and want to take care of it and want to respect George Lucas and respect the characters like Star Wars theory okay so you know and then we got you know dickheads like Steel Saunders attacking Star Wars theory like <laughs> that guy what a grease ball what a what a what a grease spot on a subway platform he is you know gum on the sidewalk that's about all he is you know he you know you can't this is the thing, and Jeremy at Geeks of Gamers brought this up. These people have sold their souls for perks from Disney instead of being genuinely honest. Everybody knows that these movies suck, that the whole new canon sucks, but they're not willing to admit it. And in fact, they'll go down fighting for it so they can get press passes, so they can go up to some movie, movie star, star and, her and, and ask him stupid questions for three and a half seconds. And when the guy walk, turns around to walk away, he's like, who the hell was that? And why did I waste my three and a half seconds of my life talking to that grease ball? You know, that's all this is about. That's why Steel Saunders does what he does. That's why uh, that idiot, is sleazoid, uh, pervert, Brian Young does what he does. That's what, that's what Jason Ward does. They know it's bad. They know it's bad. Now, maybe they like the politics behind it. Maybe they like to be uh, deballed and unmanned. I don't know. That's unattractive to me. I mean, in fact, it's gross if you ask me. But hey, you know, what am I? I'm just some chick with a mouth. And I'm going to speak my mind. You know, so that's... So, so basically, you know, they're attacking... Uh, they're loving this, that... Uh, Star Wars theory uh, got screwed over, um, but what they're they're but, but they won't admit. I and mean, you can show them the numbers. Star Wars is dying because of what Disney and Lucasfilm have done to it. What these shells, Hello Greedo, Still Saunders, Jason Ward, Brian Young, that ugh, geek girl diva, have done to it. What, what the talent um, Freddie Prince Jr., etc., have done to it. You know, they won't admit it because they're too stupid to understand. You know, money, money talks, bullshit walks. Okay? Then that's the bottom line. You know, I say this as someone who's a devotee of uh, uh, Ayn, Ayn Rand's um, ideas behind uh, a lot of her stuff. 
um, the value of the individual mind, the, 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 the value of, of man's cre uh, ability to create things, uh, man for himself. You know, the, the, you, you, um, I'm not an objectivist, but I, I appreciate what she what she had to say, and what she does say, and I can't, for the life of me, understand why they don't get it, why they don't, un why they why spoon feeding SJW garbage, and then and then knowing knowing that we all see through it. And then telling us, because we didn't like it, that we're sexist, bigots, racist, misogynists. is going to piss people off and turn people off. I mean, I'm a woman. How can I be a misogynist? You know? And I'll tell you something. Most of the girls, um, Amanda Ward, geek girl diva, uh, that pinhead Andy Gutierrez, he could not take care of themselves if they had to. They couldn't. Um, you know, they're they're incapable of... Of, of doing the things that you have to do when it hits the fan. They are. All right. And, and you know they are. Um, I don't know a so-called woke woman feminazi who's actually had to do any really, really dig in, dig inside of her, of her soul to, 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 to survive. Okay, not one of them. And they're unwilling to admit when they've made mistakes. It's always the guy's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. And same goes with the guys. But the, but, but the funny thing about it is, when you look at all this stuff and how Disney's driven, allowed these people to drive the fan base away, you have to ask yourself, does anybody not see this? You know, I, I, the, he, here's the deal. It's supposed to be bigger than what we are, okay? It's supposed to be timeless, not relevant. That's the difference. Can we get back to that? You know, I thought, you know, Disney talked about fairy tales and Cinderella and Snow White and all the rest of that stuff. And now we got this relevant crap. You know, I mean, it's time, it's time for that to end, this relevant crap. And then attack, turning around and attacking Star Wars Theory, Theory's video and taking money from him when they said he could monetize it, but they can. I, and all right, I understand they can, but it's still a big F you to him. You know, um, he, and, and what's funny is that it is, is honest, honestly, this doesn't shock me that they would do this. In fact, I was waiting to find out they, they made him take it down. But why? When they can make money off of it. You know, when you look at the and, and look at look at the money, look at look at the money Lucasfilm has lost for Disney, and it's not just in the merchandise, you know, and and, and all the rest of that stuff, and the publishing, the novels that can't that they, that they can't sell, the, the comic books they can't sell, the stuff, the the, the licensing agreements that they can't sell, it, the the movies aren't making any money. You have Marvel backfilling in and. They're hiding that, but the bottom line is Lucasfilm has lost money all across the board. And now they've got the successful thing, and they... You know, want to take money from it. And that's fine. Here's what I would do. <clears throat> Back in the day, there were guys named Jack Warner, Louis B. Mayer, Irving Thalberg, uh, you know... Daryl F. Zanuck, la la la. You know what they would have done? They would have hired Star Wars Theory and said, "Kid, you make any movie you want." Um, we're gonna. They would have seen the error of their ways. You know, the, the words, the wise words, will it play in Peoria? Really, really stood for something. Will the fans like it? If they don't like it, we're not gonna do this. All right, and because they needed to sell the movies, because that's what people did on Saturdays, is they went to movies and they just didn't go to see one movie at night. They would sit in the theater for hours watching newsreels, comedy reels, 
animated film and then a couple of movies or a movie okay that's what they would do will it play in peoria will 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 it you know star wars right right now certainly wouldn't right now as it, as it stands but you got uh the the fan the fan the vader fan film with six million or more views now That's playing in Peoria. The problem is, guys, Lucasfilm, Disney, is you. Your soulless, nihilistic crap. And the fact that you allow people like Steel Saunders, Jason Ward, and his creepy little wife, and Brian Young and his perverted jailbait fetish to chase the fan base away. You allow Pablo Hidalgo, who has no business now working and Lucasfilm at all to chase the, fan, the fans away all right there's no heart or soul in what you're doing and you know it now because you saw what we like and instead of saying you know maybe we should hire this kid you said let's steal money from him we told him he couldn't make any money but that doesn't mean we can't and that of course is within the law but it's still bullshit and I'm gonna tell you this and then I'm gonna let you go if you think the fandom menace is done, you just wait. The boycott just grew exponentially because there are a lot of people who saw the Vader flick, who liked it, who aren't boycotting. But I guarantee you, now, they will. And you made the mistake. You made a big mistake. All right? Because the boycott is definitely operational. I don't care if episode nine has everything on my laundry list that I want. I'm not going to see it. And a lot of other people aren't either. And you are going to fail miserably. Fall on your faces miserably. And you'll deserve every failure you get. This comic debt, ka, 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 karmic debt is coming. With your names on it, Lucasfilm. Okay? It's coming. We mean it. The fandom menace is real, and it just got bigger. This is stuff. Oh, and I forgot. Star Wars Theory actually was hope was, was one of your cheerleaders. Bet you he's not now. Good job. I'll see you around the galaxy. Hey, guys. It's Steph. I hope you liked the, the video. And, uh, again, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell for more content when I upload something new. And uh, hit the like. Smash those likes. And uh, share away here. We share away here for a lot of Star Wars. And, uh, I'm just going to leave you, leave you with this. The boycott of Episode Nine is fully operational now. And it just grew. Well done, Disney. Well done.